Hi, I'm Laura Purdy Salas, and this is my book, A Rock Can Be, and I am going to read it aloud to you. I wrote the words for this book, and Violetta Dubja did the amazing art for it, and it was published by Learner Publishing Group, who gave me permission to make this read aloud video for you. Before I start, I want to share a couple of my favorite rocks with you. I love rocks. Um, this one, this beautiful striped rock is from Scotland across the Atlantic Ocean and it is from the banks of Loch Ness, which is the big deep lake where the Loch Ness monster is rumored to exist. And I picked up this rock on a 2008 trip to Scotland and Every time I look at or hold this rock, I remember that amazing trip. It takes me right back over there. Another favorite rock right now um, is one that I found just last year when I was visiting the North Shore, which here in Minnesota, where I live, the North Shore means the North Shore of Lake Superior, one of the Great Lakes. And this is an agate. Let's see, I'm trying to give you the best view I can of it. It is glossy and stripey on the inside, but rough and bumpy on the outside because it forms inside the gas bubbles of other rocks, uh, generally lava when you're up on the North Shore. Um, so those are two of my favorite rocks. I hope you have some favorite rocks too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now, as I read this book to you, I would like, I would like you guys to help me. Whenever I raise up my hand to you, I would like you to say, a rock can be, along with me, okay? The name of this book is, a rock can be. Awesome. A rock is a rock. It's sand, pebble, stone. Each rock tells a story, a tale, all its own. A rock can be a tall mountain, park, fountain. Dinosaur bone, stepping stone, a rock can be, volcano flower, night glower, lake skimmer, building trimmer. A rock can be hopscotch marker, fire sparker. A rock is a rock, our earth in your hand. Our world's full of rocks, some simple, some grand. A rock can be a seaside home, a crusty dome. Desert dune, harvest moon. A rock can be a food grinder, path winder, harbor protector, land connector. A rock can be a sparkling ring, an eagle wing. A book proper, a 
sheep stopper. A rock is a rock, part of cliff, road, or sea. Now go and discover what else a rock can be. Oh, I hope you enjoyed learning some of the things that rocks can be. I think it is just amazing that fossils are basically bones or other parts of living beings turned into stone. And also I think it's incredible that there are certain birds that swallow little tiny ground up rocks uh, to help digest their food that they eat inside their digestive system. So many cool things rocks do. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, the book has Back Matter, which tells more about each of those things that rocks do. But also on my website, you can go to the page for A Rock Can Be, and you can see um, there's a downloadable teaching guide. I have a lesson plan for creating your own can be book um, and there's all sorts of different um, links to different ideas uh, that teachers or kids can use to learn a little bit more about rocks. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. I'm Laura Purdy Salas. This book was illustrated by Violetta Dubja and thank you to Learner Publishing Group.